Now, what's your opinion of the state of rap music right now in Miami? We got a lot of dudes in Miami that go hard. You know, a lot of people have got passion for it. It's just not being heard, that's all. You got a lot of passion. You got a lot of dudes from down that got a lot of passion in general. That's hustlers. It's just not being heard, you know. Now, you're from, well, let me ask you this. When you say not heard, um, how do you think that problem can be fixed? Is there a solution to it? I mean, it's all about, it's all about the approach you take at it, the right moves, you know, and you got to really think about it. Think about what's your next move. You can't depend on nobody else. That's about it. And I just, just, you know, I'm just trying to make the right moves. Everybody different. Everybody think different. Now, you're from Dade County. Yeah. Now, one thing I noticed, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but recently what I've noticed is maybe in the last 10 years, when anybody ever thought about a successful commercial rapper, they always thought Miami or an artist from Miami. Recently, though, within the last year or two, I've been seeing a rise of Broward County artists. Yeah. And I've never seen that before. Now, I don't know if Broward County artists always existed and just not ever gotten as successful commercial attention like Miami artists before, or it's just a sudden rise of Broward County artists recently. But, you know, I'm always used to seeing Miami always making noise, and that was it. And now I see Broward County making noise, and not so much Miami. It's kind of like quiet, it feels like. Yeah. Is that a fair assessment to make, or am I wrong? I mean... I mean, yeah, you're right. Right now, ain't, ain't too much noise, but, you know, everybody got their shine. You know, everybody got their time. It's just like, you know, we got a bunch of big cities in, in Florida. You know, Miami's one of the in most, most known, hottest cities, but, you know, Broward ain't, it's about, you know, it's a, it's a good time to have their little shine. You know, they ain't have a shine in a minute, just like when Plies came out. You know, he had four miles and all that. So, you know, it's only, it's only right everybody get a chance. Now... For those that don't know what I'm talking about, Broward County and Dade County, they're right next to each other. Yeah. Is there a difference between Dade County music and Broward County music? Yeah, yeah. The way they talk different, the way we swag different, everything different. You know, only, the, only, the only similarities is getting money. That's about it, but the whole culture is different. Now, every city geographically is different. Some cities are a little more territorial than other cities in the United States, that sort of thing. Yeah. When it comes to Broward County and Dade County, they sit right next to each other. Are there any beefs between Broward County artists and Miami artists, or do both counties of artists work together? How does it work out there? No, nah, ain't really no beef. Ain't really no beef nowadays with Miami and Broward. That'd be dumb just for the hell of it. But ain't no beefs. I mean, I mean, ain't nobody really getting together like that. Not, at least not right now yet. Well, you know, only time could tell. And it could happen. It could happen at any time.